whenever I get into a niche, be it lifting, cooking, or sometimes fucking Fortnite, I, like many others, love to jump right into the rabbit hole, learning the culture, memes, and history of whatever that niche is. This immersion often leads to comparing yourself with legendary figures of the past, known in the community, or some community set standard that everyone thinks you should hit no problem. When this happened for lifting, I quickly discovered that the intermediate strength standards that many preach are a 315 squat, a 225 pound deadlift, and a 405... I got that wrong. A 225 bench, and a 405 deadlift. And boom, you're officially intermediate. At least, that's what everyone was saying. Now, as far as timing went, the consensus was somewhere around 6 months to a year for all these numbers. This was slightly concerning. You see, after having made the gym the only productive thing I did for about a year, I was only squatting 160 pounds, benching 135, and deadlifting 225 on a smith machine. Now, anyone with a hint of intuition or experience will likely tell you that something was wrong here. Either my training or recovery had to have been fucked, and it was, there's no doubt about that. Most tragically, I did not have access to a barbell. Now, despite this, I will simply, I was simply copy and pasting just some powerlifting program that I saw onto a synth machine. This and a myriad of other mistakes I will leave for another video, but there is one more factor many don't consider, age. If you've ever been arm wrestled, uh, <laughs> if you've ever arm wrestled your dad, you know how vital this is. Even if you go to this gym consistently and your dad does not, um, he will undoubtedly still fucking shit on you if you're 14, 15, 16, 17 years old, basically, if you're still a kid. This leads us to a very basic principle that I can't believe more people aren't talking about. No way in hell will you get the same strength gains as an adult. If you are a literal child, of course you will be much weaker than a grown man, even if you've been training for quite a bit. Now, there are a few people I know who are my age who are well past these intermediate numbers, and they do scare me a tiny bit, I don't think they fuck with me, and they do make me a tiny bit jealous. That's fine. These are the true outliers who exist in almost every community. They capitalized on an opportunity when they realized they were strong as fuck, and that's that, that's great. Can't blame them. What I really think the internet has fucked up massively for people, however, is this perception that age is just a number. You will go up on pretty much any forum, and a good amount of people on there, good chance that they're under 18. Now, since there's no way of knowing this, people will just proceed as normal, as if it's adults talking to each other. The problem arises when a culture like lifting facilitates a big online community. Adults, assuming that they're talking to other adults, come up with these strength standards of like, yeah, of course I can overhead press a plate and bench two, I'm not a fucking bitch, they say. For a 25-year-old who knows what he's doing and has had all his bones fully grown and whatnot, sure, this can be true. Measly weight, comically easy, if you will. Now, the problem, again, comes when little Billy, who is 5'11", 150 pounds, 16% body fat, employs this mindset. For me, especially with overhead press, I've had a relatively bad time. Being so obsessed with the intermediate one rep maxes has made it so that I haven't done the sub-maximal volume needed to build that strength. When I finally got access to a gym with uh, proper barbells and plates, you bet your fucking ass the first thing I did was max out as frequently as I could. I tried to remember, not not I tried to remember, I do remember a few weeks after signing up to this new gym, I tried to overhead press 105, full fucking setup, <sighs> starting strength, hip shoot and everything, <laughs> maybe a tiny bit of leg drive, but not, not, mm, not any meaningful amount, hyping up to the max, hyperventilating. I either barely locked it out, or I missed it by half an inch, I can't remember in the, in the video, it's kind of hard to tell. But what I do remember was blacking out for a second and waking back up with the bar barely on the rack and me hanging off of said bar. This isn't fucking healthy. I'm not chased from starting strength, hoisting four plates overhead like nothing fucking pound of ground beef a day, gallon of milk a day, motherfucker. I'm not Larry Wheels, pressing most people's total for reps. I was a kid with minuscule social skills risking injury for baby weight. That reality check was gifted to me by no one. It's only now, months later, that I realize, holy fuck, what was I doing with my life? There are three people of whom I'm aware who've made similar, po similar points as me in this video. Natural hypertrophy, Alex Leonidas, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. 
In his Baki program, NH specifies that people under 16 should probably not even be running the program. Schwarzenegger, in his Encyclopedia of Bo Modern Bodybuilding that was published a gillion years ago, which I would very often read instead of paying attention in my classes at school, um, in the book he urges caution with the bodybuilding and the very young. He knows how retarded it is to hold the kids to the same strength standards as adults, advising that they build their base with calisthenics instead. As for Alex Leonidas, the comment he made replying to a question about his novice program prompted me to snap out of my old way of thinking and make this video. No way in hell will you make the same strength gains as an adult. This really stuck with me, and I thank him. Alex, if you're by any chance watching this, um, I appreciate it. That comment made in 2015, almost a decade ago, which is kind of fucking wild, was the nail in the coffin for my ego lifting a few weeks ago when I discovered it. Now, two years and two months after I've started lifting, the gains can begin. Let's fucking go. I'm super excited. And for your trouble, since you've stuck around this far, I'll give you a plan of action. Here are the steps that you are going to take if you want to build actual muscle and actual strength. And not just fucking ego lift if you're a minor. If you're a guy under 18, fucking bones haven't fully developed yet. Puny ass tendons. Um, and you don't want to get snapped up. And you're smart enough to um, either watch this video or just like realize through some other means that ego lifting is probably not, probably not the best for you. Number one, consume different content. Even good powerlifters uh, don't max out early, don't max out a few weeks in. So if you, even if you do love powerlifting, if you watch the right people, you'll see that they do a bunch of submaximal work. Now bodybuilders train hard, but they do it mostly above five reps. That's a consensus. Like some people do like a four to eight rep range, even three to five from time to time. But they very rarely max out, because maxing out is a test of strength, and it doesn't really build it. It builds it, surely it builds it. I'm not like, who am I to say I'm a fucking novice still, but like, it, I haven't built much muscle from maxing out, let's just say. So, if you want to be more like aligned to a powerlifter, even they don't max out very early, and the good bodybuilders train mostly above five reps, and they do train hard. Measure success differently. This is a huge one. Um... And with something that I'm kind of going over right now with myself. Oh shit, I can press the slideshow button. Wonderful. Hopefully you haven't clicked off of the video. <laughs> because I didn't have it full screened properly. Now for me, the pump, mind-muscle connection, technique, and weight, um, the all improving, is way better than just weight at the expense of technique. Right, one day you can be fucking like deadlifting, your back is like, oh yay. One day you're like, oh shit, I added five pounds. I'm like Mark Ripito, but you're like curled up like this shit. It's like, come on, man. Next step, take inspiration from bodybuilders. Now, the main uh, point of this bullet point is that the loads that they hoist are impressive, yes, but as a byproduct of the mass that they've built, look at GVS doing overhead extensions. Look at Peter Kacharian doing fucking the spider curls or some shit. Yeah, that's a lot of weight. They've also been training for like longer than I've been alive. Well, not Jeffrey. Uh, Peter Kacharian has been training for a fucking while. And that's why I do believe that he's natural. Because that's just a lot of time to fucking accumulate mass. Now, while keeping these things in mind, also keep in mind that maxing out isn't bad. Um, it's not like the devil. You won't immediately die. Fucking, that's pretty much horseshit. It, it can be very safe if you do it properly. However, it simply st tests your strength more than it builds it. And consider redoing one rep maxes that you've already done before, so the same weight, but with better form. So if you're like, for the overhead press example, if I nearly shit myself and died, uh, fucking uh, shaky like this, and then in a few weeks I can do that same thing, but pretty smooth, no leg drive, that's progress. And keep in mind that there is practically no natural limit. And why do I include this in here? Well, because maxing out with shitty form regularly and plateauing can lead you to think otherwise. Um, because this is not conducive at all to making progress. And so once people have gone past their noob gains, because obviously for fucking noob gains, even like maxing out will build some muscle, um, and they keep being stuck in this mindset of the constant one rep max, never doing some maximal work. Well, not never, but like, you know, not having it skewed properly. It can lead people to believe that, oh yeah, I've just hit my natural limit. It's like, no motherfucker, you're deadlifting three times a week, uh, in the one to two rep range. Like, hmm and under recovering. Like, come on, man. Clearly, you have some other issues going on. Now, keep these bullet points in mind, 
go fucking train for whatever you would like to do. Train for powerlifting, which requires a lot of submaximal volume. Powerlifting is not just one rep maxes. Go train for bodybuilding, which is mostly, more than likely, over five reps. Still train hard for fail to failure or whatever the fuck. Aesthetics, go crossfit. Whatever you want to train for, my guy. Ego lifting is not the way to do it. Goodbye.